All right, we got another little brief intro right now. Now we got Jay Z. <clears throat> so Jay Z is the most legendary New York rapper that's maintained himself. I'm not saying he's the most legendary rapper in New York. Plenty of other New York rappers that can be on par with Jay Z or or better than Jay Z based off of just rapping alone, but Jay Z is the only one that maintained himself in the nineties. Um, we got reasonable doubt nineteen ninety six. Um, this is his best work. So we got that. I don't have too much to say on it. Um he came from the fame of Jazzo. Which was a popular rapper in the eighties. Very good rapper. Uh then he came up with volume one. 1997. This is a good album too, though. I don't understand why niggas make it seem like Jay Z only got like one good album or some shit. That's a pretty good album too. I'm gonna have to listen to that again. Volume two. Eh. I think volume two is when he kind of like. Volume one is volume one is good. Volume two, eh? Again, you know, um, I still got some remember memorable hits like uh, Money Cash Holes, <laughs> Hard Knock Life. It's all right. Money ain't a thing. On um, volume three, I think this one he started coming into money. And uh, he picked it back up with this one a little bit, but it has a lot of good production. Volume three has very good production. Oh, and it has Big Pimpin' too. Big Pimpin' for shit, and then anything. And this one he started this in Nas too. S. Doc Carter, pretty good. Watch me. I mean, anything with Dr. Dre on it. You know what I mean? Anything that Dr. Dre produces turns to, to, to fucking gold. So oh, we got the Dynasty again, high production. By the time Jay Z got to his fourth album, he are, he relied on high production because the third album, eh, he was starting to kind of fall off. So he had to use high production to maintain himself. Um. Songs are good though. Oh, and then he started working with R. Kelly. You got the R. Kelly saga. And he started going mainstream a little more. Outsourcing not with just East Coast rappers, but West Coast rappers. There's a Snoop Dogg feature on there. Then you got the blueprint. Oh, oh wait. The blueprint. The blueprint. How the fuck can I forget the blueprint? Who forgets the blueprint? Song Cry, one of my favorite songs of all time. Renegade, Never Change. A Shiva Izzo. Then he did the takeover where he did Nas. Yo, this is a legendary album right here. This is a legendary album right here now. Gotta revisit this shit. I gotta get me my iPod back. I should go do that shit right now. On the Blueprint too. A lot of songs, a lot of good songs. But following up the Blueprint one, there's no way now you can follow up the Blueprint one. That's not. That's not even. That's not even. You can't. You just can't do it. You know. That's like that's like with the Ray Kwan, which I have to. Ray Kwan trying to follow um, Only Built for Cuban Links. You can never follow that album. The second Only Built for Cuban Links is pretty good though, but it's not the first one, man. It's not the same. 
there's a lot of there's there's a lot of there's very few hits and a lot of duds. I think there's a lot of underrated songs on here too though. Black album. Hmm. This album is cool. I don't get the hype with this album. I don't understand it. But then again, um, it is still a pretty. It is still a good album. It is still a good album. I just don't understand the hype. I think it was too overhyped. Um. I would say uh, Reasonable Doubt is number one, then Blueprint, then the Black Album. And then he said Magna Carta, Holy Grail, was in fourth place, but I think it's in fifth. Next to American Gangster. American Gangster was amazing. Even the Blueprint 3 was dope. The Blueprint 3 was dope, but the Blueprint 2 wasn't that dope. Blueprint 3 was dope. I think, I think. I think it's sixth actually. I don't even think top five. I think Blueprint three is a fifth. If if Blueprint three is amazing, you know. But yeah, I like this album. Kingdom Come. See, everybody hates this album, and I have it for a 2005 version. So, cause he retired. He he tried to retire after this album, and guess what album this is? His ninth. Guess who say they're trying to retire too? Jeezy in the fucking game. Jeezy in the game trying to say they fucking retire. Y'all better, y'all better, y'all better come up with some more music, man. But, um, this album is for Uptown New Yorkers. Jay-Z had to rebrand himself. Just like I think Jeezy in the game are trying to do. Um, or they should be trying to do. Um, this this album isn't for the, the 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 gritty New Yorkers anymore. He he went more uptown with this one. I could imagine eating a a bagel in uptown New York, reading a newspaper and shit, and listening to this album. It's not a bad album. It's just it's not what we used to from Jay Z. Oh, and here comes American Gangster. This album is cinematic. I mean, it, it comes from a. Uh, it comes from uh, the American Gangster movie. This is the soundtrack to it. Jay Z decided to do the soundtrack himself, and this is when he got back with Nas. That this is, this is actually to me. This is man, like I just don't get the blackout. I mean, lyrically, as far as just like hip hop, hip hop, I say American Gangster is on par with the blackout. It's fighting for that place. And the only reason why I really say that is because people really think the you know people people say the Black Album is amazing, but American Gangster, front to back, front to back, front to back, every song, hit 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 hit, every song, every song is a hit. Every I can listen to every song on here. They would show this. I got these fucking ads popping up. I don't know how to get rid of that shit. Every song, man. Every song. The intro. The intro's good. Pray. Pray's the only semi just like, ugh. American Dreaming. Hello, Brooklyn. No Hook. Rock Boys. Sweet. I know. I know, too. Um, party Life. Ignorant shit. Say, say hello, success, fallen, blue magic, and uh, yo, this is an amazing album, front to back. I don't think I can listen to the the black album really front to back with confidence. But that's just me, you know. Oh, and the blueprint three, American Gangster, and the blueprint three was dope. Talking about, thank you. Death of Auto Tune, Run This Town, Empire, Real, Next One, Off That, Star is Born, Venus vs. Mars, Already Home, Hate Two, Reminder, Ambitious, Young Forever. This is a good album. All these songs are decent. There's, ver- there's barely any misses. Barely any misses. So, American Gangsta and the Blueprint 3, 
left on albums. And plus, he was able to keep it to a mainstream appeal by keeping it a little grimy and gritty, but keeping it classy at the same time. It's like a perfect mix. Um, this is what this is what Eminem has to be able to do. You have to be able to be gritty, a little grimy. You have to be able to put trap beats on your songs, uh, rap to the trap beats, but also have different topics and 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 and, and melodies and, and and different flavor on every song. So we got oh Magna Carta, Holy Grail. I like this album too. He went to the super rich category by the time he got to this album. This is a super rich category. So barely anybody that was a Jay-Z fan at first isn't really going to understand Jay-Z. But at the same time, I don't understand that because Jay-Z is who he always was. Just like with Lil Wayne. Um, they claim they claim that um, people say like, man, I like the Carter Ford, man. But I wish, Jay or I wish Lil Wayne would go back to his old shit. I'm like, this is who Lil Wayne is. That Lil Wayne in the past is a persona. You know, it's, it's just a persona. That's it. That's Lil Wayne. If you really like Lil Wayne, you you will like the Carter Ford. You will like the Carter Ford. If you didn't really like Lil Wayne like that, if you don't like the Carter Ford, you don't really like Lil You didn't really like Lil Wayne like that in the first place. You know, like, let's be real. So if you don't like Magna Carter Holy Grail, you don't really like Jay-Z like that. You know what I mean? Like, you like a persona. You like a certain persona. You like a certain type of, of vibe, you know. Oh, and then 444. This is a cool album. I gotta, I, man, I gotta revisit these albums once I'm done with this shit. For real, for real. I haven't listened to my music in a while. See, this is what I listen to. And I listen to a mix of the old and the new, but I listen to the legends. I give respect to the legends first. And... As long as they maintain themselves, then I, I I can give them their respect, you know. So, but four four four, this is a good album too. I'll be waiting for some more Jay Z. Uh, but that's the intro. That's the intro. Brief intro into Jay Z. So, hold on. Anyway, peace.